Hey everyone, my name is Talon and welcome to my channel. Thanks for joining me again for another video. I wasn't actually planning to release this video today, but I kind of got some comments just kind of asking for a follow-up for my latest uh, video that came out before this, my update for the T-Mobile Home Internet, because in it, if you haven't seen it, I kind of talked about some of my disappointments with it and that one of those was my less than stellar latency especially when it came to gaming it made some games completely unplayable and it's it's really really sad because i am quite a bit of a gamer and i require decent internet to play my games otherwise it's just not fun this is also like the third time that i recorded this video because i am kind of just dumb and i completely forgot to plug in my microphone so i sat here talking to the camera uh with no no audio so that was kind of neat but with all that said i mainly ran into issues when the battlefield 2042 beta came out and i really wanted to play that i wanted to play it a lot and i would join a server and my ping would be 200 milliseconds plus and if anyone has ever experienced ping that high it's not playable whatsoever it, it's actually it's not just not playable it's also very miserable it's almost like torture and it kind of made me it just made me sad because it was a limited time beta so if i wasn't able to play it uh now i wouldn't really be able to play it until the game actually comes out fully uh and i've had some other experiences with some games i know in uh like call of duty warzone i experienced uh, a lot of packet packet loss and i experienced a lot of um packet burst and that causes a lot of issues too even if the ping itself isn't that bad during high congestion i really deal with a, a lot of packet loss and it's just it's really frustrating so i needed to find some ways to help improve it and if you if you just go and google ways to reduce latency some articles are going to be really silly i know that i read one from uh, i believe it was engadget and not not saying anything about engadget but one of their articles to reduce latency uh i think it was like their fourth uh, tip for someone to do was defrag your hard drive like what your hard drive has absolutely nothing nothing to do with your latency it might if your hard drive is kind of running slow yeah it might feel like you're lagging but that's because your heart your computer is literally having a hard time running the game uh they also said like check your system requirements make sure you have enough ram stuff like that like it's just I, that's not going to help majority of people out there but i was doing some digging and i found some articles and some forums talking about this tool called tcp optimizer uh, i'm going to make sure i link that down in, into the description but this uh this tool is actually really cool not only will it help people that have uh, t-mobile home internet but it could potentially help you uh if you have cable or fiber or anything else as well but uh, I know that Windows has a major issue kind of dealing with the IPv6 uh, traffic over the 5G network that T-Mobile Home Internet uses, and it's it's not very efficient, and it, it causes a lot of issues. So I wasn't the I know that I wasn't the only one that's been dealing with issues with this. I know some people have great uh, great connections all the time. It probably depends on a lot of there's a lot of factors that go into it, location to server and everything, and what device you are playing, what game you're playing. Some games handle it a lot better. Um, and I ha definitely noticed that the games that have lower player counts uh, play significantly better versus games that have much higher player counts, which makes sense. It's a lot of different people connecting to one server. Uh, there's a lot of issues that can be involved with that. But with all that said, I wanted to show you guys this awesome tool, TCP Optimizer, that completely saved my butt when it came to playing games as of late. Of course if you want to use this program you're going to have to just google it uh i will post a link in the description but if you google it you will find multiple websites that are hosting it uh, i believe that i use this one right here the download.cnet.com uh yeah this is the one that i use personally super easy just download it install the program and once you do that you will see this make sure you open this as an administrator because otherwise you won't be able to change the settings uh, that you might want to uh, this this program does change some of your settings in your registry so you do need that admin privileges so for the most part this is what you're going to see when it first opens up you can choose your network adapter make sure you choose the one that you actually want to use i know i didn't realize this right away because i just didn't pay attention to the window but i was changing settings in here and i just wasn't seeing any differences that's because i don't use wi-fi so why would i be using my my wi-fi adapter and you'd be using my normal wired uh network interface card right here make sure you choose the correct one 
Uh, and then if you go down here, you pretty much have kind of some, some presets. You can see the windows defaults right here. And then everyone should pretty much move over to optimal for the, for the best latency. So move over to optimal at the very least. Uh, and if you want to change any advanced settings, you're going to have to change it to custom. And then over here in the advanced settings, again, if you don't have it in custom, you won't be able to edit anything. So make sure you change it to custom. You can edit whatever you want on this page. Uh, you'll notice right here, there's even a whole a whole area just for gaming tweaks. And I know most people recommend the network throttling index, keep that disabled, and then system responsiveness. Most people move it to gaming. Uh, that should help you the most. So switch that to gaming if you want to. And then if you want to disable Nagel's algorithm, if I remember right, yeah, down here, disable Nag Nagel's algorithm. This makes a pretty big difference, I will say. Um, and I believe it's the TCP no delay. That's what fully disables Nagel's algorithm. So make sure you just uh, do a little bit of research, uh, know what you're doing, because some some of these settings, like disabling Nagel's algorithm, can have some ill effects during certain uh, certain other network traffic. So just know what you're doing. It's it's not a, it's not scary though, because worst case is you you mess it up and it causes issues that you don't like. You just change it back. It's it's not a big issue. It's not going to break your computer or anything like that. It's just changing TCP settings. So yeah, this is the tool here, TCP optimizer. Super easy to use. I have like it. It's honestly pretty great. And like I said, it it completely changes registry settings. So you don't you don't need to open this every single time that you play games or anything. Uh, once you once you create your settings and uh, however you like it, whatever works the best for you, if you just save it and leave it like that, it should be good and you shouldn't ever have to open this program again until you want to change settings again. You don't need to do it every single time you play games or anything. The settings will stick. And like I said, I'm going to make sure I link uh, just a link for the download for this tool down in the description. So use that if you need to. But just just for a great example, I, I used it, I set it to the optimal settings, I disabled Nagel's algorithm through it, and I know for Battlefield 2042, my ping went from above 200 milliseconds to below 90 milliseconds, and I was actually able to enjoy it, and it took no time at all. Um, but just know that if you are going to try and do this, just kind of read up on it a little bit. If you do disable some of the, some of the settings, it it, it could mess up some other uh, some other things. Like I know disabling Nagel's algorithm has some uh, ill effects on some streaming services and stuff like that. Like Netflix, I, I've kind of found out. So just kind of do some some Googling and just do your own research for it because this is this tool is editing some of your TCP settings in your registry itself. So I don't know how many people that this is gonna actually help. Like I said, everyone's situation is completely different. Uh, so you could have great uh, great latency you can have terrible latency and this could help you or it could just have to do absolutely do nothing so it all depends but it's worth a try and i know that it helped me and i know it helps some other people too uh so check it out tcp optimizer i highly recommend it hope you guys enjoyed that video make sure that you leave a comment if you have any questions or if you just want to talk to to other people or if you want me to talk to you uh, because I definitely will. I, I read every single comment that comes through. It's pretty easy. I'm a, I'm a new YouTube channel, so there's not a whole lot of comments that come through, which makes it really nice because then I can kind of actually get to know some of the people that are watching my videos. And since I am a new YouTube channel, I'm still trying to find kind of what I enjoy because this is a really fun hobby so far. Uh, I've only been doing it for a month, really, uh, posting regularly. And for anyone that's new to the channel, I do post uh, on Monday and Wednesday. Sometimes I post on Fridays. I'm still kind of trying to test out if I have enough free time during the week to, to post on Fridays as well. Uh, and then if I find any cool new stories or something like that, maybe I'll just post it uh, on random days because they don't take too long to edit. But Mondays and Wednesdays is pretty much my normal day so far. And I really like talking about finance and tech videos. There's the two topics that I really like, and I know they don't really work together. But I'm thinking about in the future, probably on Mondays, I'm going to post some finance videos. Wednesdays is going to be more tech videos. I am going to keep trying to make more videos. If you guys have any suggestions on topics that you want me to talk about, uh, just let me know. Again, if you like my video, make sure you do hit the like button and make sure that you subscribe as well. And I'll see you guys on the next one. So see ya.